Hey y'all, it's Monday, June the 7th, and I haven't done this in a while. Um, I just decided to come on here and do a vlog for you guys because it's been a while, and I liked doing these. So, it is almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and I've gone to work. I went to work early this morning, earlier than normal, because my shift for June is 8.30 to 5. Now, I did go this morning at 7.15. I got off at... 215 because I had a doctor's appointment um, So I just left work early Doctor's appointment was because of my ear and I have these earrings on but y'all if y'all don't know um, What dermatitis is I have dermatitis which is a nickel sensitivity Now I discovered this or that I had this condition in the eighth grade in junior high. I was in band and We were selling earrings or jewelry or something I think it was just jewelry but earrings was included in that and I mean it was it was cheap but it was for band for our trip or something like that and I put the earrings on I bought me some I put the earrings on and y'all it wreaked havoc on my ears and so my ears really haven't truly recovered from that because I have to have now I have to have a prescription for my ears because sometimes they'll flake up um, They'll be dry and they itch and it's all because I have um, These types of earrings on I'm not supposed to wear them, but I do And when I do I pay for it. It's the nickel that's used in the earrings, right? that tends to make my ears do the crazy thing they do i also have it on my skin too so i remember one time i was wearing a watch not this watch but i had another watch um and the nickel in that it made a mark on my wrist um anywhere on my skin where metal touches i'm prone to breaking out you know what I just thought about this the funny thing is not on my um, my fingers my uh, my rings they don't for whatever reason so y'all yeah, yeah uh, not on my none of my uh, my fingers break out but it's just like right here and you guys probably can't see it but right here if I'm wearing wire glasses uh, my wrist if I have like a certain type of watch and um, of course my ears. Um, I've missed y'all. I have really missed y'all. Have y'all missed me? Y'all, it's nine o'clock and I'm on my way to pick up Ryan. I just wanted to come on here to let y'all know that this evening has been an epic fail. It has been an epic fail because I have been trying to, you know how on the bottom of um, people's YouTube uh, videos they have, uh, the thumbs up the subscribe and then the bell notification. Well, I have been trying to Create that in Canva um, all Afternoon into the evening and I have not I don't know what's wrong. So with that being said I am on my way to pick up my daughter from her job Hey y'all it is Friday, June the 11th. I have not talked to y'all guys to you guys since I think it was Monday, I want to say. And I do apologize that this vlog is not going to be an everyday vlog just because uh, Monday I was feeling well when I decided to vlog on Monday uh, or when I did vlog on Monday, I was feeling great. And then Tuesday, if y'all follow me over on Instagram, if you are not, you do need to follow me over on Instagram at Rochelle's no at plan with Rochelle so um, Monday I was feeling good Tuesday I started sneezing while I was at work and I sneezed all day so I knew something was coming on but I talked about this over on Instagram also excuse me on my Instagram story excuse me y'all so went to bed Tuesday night woke up Wednesday a um, bunch of drainage in my throat from my allergies went to work Wednesday and y'all um, Wednesday sneezed all day long wasn't feeling well at all Wednesday was my last day of work because my mom 
and my stepdad arrived Tuesday and we haven't seen them in person um, in about a year. So Wednesday was my last day at work. Thursday was my first day of vacation and I said, you know what? I woke up Thursday morning and my throat, I don't know, it was so dry and was hurting. I couldn't breathe and so I got scared because um, a few years ago we were at work and my co-worker, um, she, I don't know if you would call them raising bees or what have you, but she has bees and bees and beehives. And since I have really bad allergies, um, she was giving away honey. And I said, you know what? Yeah, bring me some and I'll take some that could help my allergies. Well, y'all, no. Adverse reaction. I take a daily allergy tab. And when I took, I only took about this much of, if you can see that, it's not even a lot. That much of the honey. And y'all, that was early that morning. By the time I was ready to leave work, I think it was after like maybe around 5.30, I felt like I, because earlier I had had strep throat. By the time I was getting off from work, I felt like I was getting strep throat again because my, um, what was going on is my throat was closing up on me from the hour, from the honey. I didn't know it. And so... I went in, long story short, I was admitted to the hospital. They had IVs going up in my arms and everything. Um, had to figure out why my, well, first of all, I went to urgent care and they was like, no, you need to go to Baylor. Leave here, go straight to Baylor. I went to Baylor Hospital. They hooked me up and everything and they had to figure out why my throat was closing. The next day I had already had a follow up appointment with my um, primary care physician and she said, so I saw that you had some honey, was it good? I was like, yes, it was great. It tastes citrusy y'all. And so she said, um, you cannot eat any more honey because you have um, the, uh, released antibodies or something in your system whereas the next time you eat some honey it could possibly kill you so now I have to walk around with an EpiPen which I don't have mind you y'all I just know that I need to stay away from anything that has honey in it all that to say yesterday when my throat was feeling like that I kind of got alarmed because I couldn't I was trying to remember did I eat anything I didn't eat anything with honey but you know how your mind plays tricks on you and so I got up yesterday, I went straight to urgent care and y'all, that visit cost me $180, $180 because my deductible has been met. Um, I ended up getting a steroid shot. Typically it works y'all, like I wouldn't be stopped up like this, but I don't know what's going on. But I've been blowing my nose all day uh, and y'all can tell I still don't feel I mean I still sound all nasally blowing my nose all day I took two Benadryl last night and my eyes are still like I look a mess my eyes they're not runny but they just feel like they're not open all the way or something I don't know what it is y'all well I do know it's my allergies and they are kicking my butt right now This is a game of concentration, no repeats or hesitation category it is. Um, ice cream flavors. Okay, ready? Cookies and cream. Cotton candy. Grandma. Sharp. Vanilla. Grapefruit. Chocolate. Homemade vanilla. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> this is a game of concentration, no repeats or hesitations category it is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
Jordan, Rylan, Troy, Kelvin, Christopher, Spencer. You're oh. out! I was going to say Christopher. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. This is a game oh. of concentration. No repeats or hesitation. It is. Right. Category oh. is. Mom, boy you names. just say boy names. Okay. You ready, Grandma? Right. Michael. Blake. Evan. Kelvin. Mike. Jordan. Kobe. Dion. Sharish. <laughs> Well, it was a different round. That was the yeah. last time. You can, it's, it's a different easy. round, yeah. yeah. I'm going to try to get you out, but I'm just trying to <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. It's me and Grandma out. Okay, ready? This is a game of concentration, no repeats or hesitations. Category is boy names. Boy names. Ready? One, two, three. Shaq. D.I. Spencer. You're not in? No! You're out, Samola. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the game of concentration, no repeats or hesitations. Category is... Boy names. Ready, Mom? Go. Blake. Jordan. Kelvin. Spencer. Kenea. Michael. Dion. No, no! She <laughs> got so bad! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why I said it needs to be like. Mom, Mari, you don't want to talk about me to keep the rhythm and you're going super fast. Y'all need to do it. You know, that's how you're supposed well, to Well, Grandma, you pat your leg. Because I'm telling you, it'd be like that. Well, yeah, when it gets to the last two people. Right. Okay, ready, Grandma? We're gonna start over. Okay. Mom, can we do boy names that again? No, nah, that's over with. Okay, right. fine. We okay, we can do girl names. Right. Ready? That's this too fast. Yeah, that's. <laughs> kind of, just, we can just do it at random. Ready? Oh. <laughs> this is a game of concentration, no repeats or hesitations. Category is mom. Girl names? Is that what you want? <laughs> No. <laughs> um, restaurants. Okay. Okay, ready, Rock girl? Wait, wait, girl! <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Go. Crackle Barrel. G. Oh, crack! <laughs> what? I literally had to even get my head. Oh my god. Wow, you suck at this. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I literally had something in my head. I don't know where it well, I blinked out. Okay, ready? <laughs> This is a game of concentration, no repeats or hesitations. Category is. This is restaurants. Restaurants. Ready, Mark? Restaurants. Okay. Parkway. Okay. Parkway. 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 Parkway.
Yeah, my child. But you don't have to just go to. No, the no, no. <laughs> Y'all, you got me out because I said a bicycle, so I'm getting you out. You said so you did. Because we just that's not a restaurant. That's a um. That's our place. Yeah. Okay, ready, mom? Okay, let's do. Let me stay. Like Ryan said, please, cause really, that wasn't. He he agreed with me. I told so. <laughs> but he was thinking too, probably, no, right? No, 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 no. Well, let me stay back in. Okay. <laughs> so you know, like main events, stuff like that. You cannot say okay, that. Okay, no arcade places. Right. Okay. 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 Go ahead. Even though they sell food, but no arcade places. This is a game of concentration, no repeats or hesitations. Category is restaurants. restaurants. Ready? One, two, three. McDonald's. Outback. Cracker Barrel. Chili's. Rainforest Cafe. Steak and Shake. Applebee's. Shake Shack. Uh, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll let you park. Y'all know it is hard for the person that's driving right. to do that. Right. Don't say be courteous. All right. Because you out. <laughs> yeah. It's me and you. Oh, uh, me and you? Oh, Lord. Okay. <clears throat> okay. This is a game of concentration, no repeats or hesitations. Category is restaurants, Outback, Chipotle, Chili's, McDonald's, Cracker Barrel, Chick fil A, Wendy's, McDonald's. You already said McDonald's. Ah. <laughs> you won. Hey y'all, so it's Sunday, um, I don't know the date, I think it's June the 13th, and Ryan and I have, well, she has cheer practice today. Um, we just got done with our waxing, but I was supposed to have a waxing and so was she. However, since I don't feel well, um, you know, my esthetician just said, hey, let's just reschedule you because when you're sick and your immune system is down, then you're just more sensitive to um, the waxing. So we rescheduled my appointment uh, for a later date, but Raya was able to get her waxing done. So now we're off to cheer because now her practice schedule has changed. She now practices on um, Wednesdays and Sundays as opposed to last year she was practicing on Saturdays and Mondays. Y'all, we were on our way to cheer practice um, and then these lights just started popping up on my dashboard. What well, happened yesterday too, but when you get home you forget about it and everything, well which I should have forgot about it, but it's the VBS, oh no, BSA, the brake light, the triangle with the estimation point in the middle, um, and my engine light, all that came on. So I got home and forgot about it. Went to sleep, it wasn't feeling good, I forgot about it. So it popped on again today while we were, um, I started my car back up from the wax appointment. So I told Dion, my husband, I said, hey, can you bring mom's car so that way I can get her to practice so that way she's not so late? Well, y'all, I was like, why did my car start shaking? Here's why. 
y'all, I don't know what I hit, but it was something in the road that I hit. Oh my gosh, if it can happen, it will happen to me. Hey y'all, so it is Monday. I think today is gonna be the last day that I vlog. I'm um, going ahead and wrap this up uh, today. Monday, June the 14th. Um, the last time I think I talked to y'all because I didn't pick up the camera anymore yesterday was, um, and sorry, moving the camera around um, like that. But the last day I talked to y'all was, yeah, yesterday, Sunday, um when ryan and i were on our way to cheer practice shredded my tire i i don't know i hit something in the road and it like shredded my tire you can hear that i'm still sounding nasally um that's because i got a lot of drainage going on y'all my allergies starting on tuesday i knew something was wrong starting on tuesday um started sneezing and everything but by the time on thursday when i was actually taking vacation days um yeah it was full blown i had i went to the doctor got me in a steroid shot which usually helps but in this case it didn't so i knew by either friday or saturday that i had a full-blown infection because of the color of my mucus my throat was hurting and all that so anyway all that to say that since i hit whatever i hit in the road yesterday sunday i am now at firestone so that way um i can get my tire repaired see how much all that's gonna cost and then we can be on our way now mind you i did tell you guys earlier that my vsa light was coming on the triangle with the exclamation point down the middle my brake light um and then my abs light all that and then my check engine light was had come on i think it was friday or saturday i think it may have been saturday i don't know what all that's about um, I just got off the phone with Dion and told him I, um, that we need to take my we need to take my car in to the Honda guy, so that way he can look at it because I do ha I don't I don't like taking my car to dealerships because I think that they take advantage of women and try to upcharge you try to upcharge us for things that we don't necessarily need and that we don't know. Um, we don't know about car maintenance so i have this guy who used to work for honda slash acura and he has his own um mechanic shop and i take my car to him only thing i don't like is that he doesn't open on the weekends but he says he's a family man so he only works monday through friday which that's okay I would prefer to take my car in on a Saturday so that way I wouldn't have to take vacation time or miss work. So, whenever Dion gets done running his errands and whenever I'm done here at Firestone, we're going to reconvene sometime today, go and drop my car off, and I'll probably, probably leave it there overnight so that way he can check it out, let us know what needs to happen, what he sees what's wrong with it, and then wait for the bad news and um, how much it's gonna cost us.